Guys, has here Shield K9. I'm with my buddy Doug, and uh, we wanted to talk to you guys today about dogs that are jealous. This is a common issue that I hear a lot about. People will call me and say, "Hey, my dog's super jealous. He won't let other dogs come up to me. If he's on the couch with me, he won't let my kids come up to me. Um, you know, he'll bark, he'll growl, he'll jump, he'll even nip, bite. Um, you know, if another dog, uh, hi Doug, if another dog, um, you know." Uh, comes up to me or even if my kids come up to me and um, you know I just wanted to address this issue because I think that this issue comes from a lot of miscon uh, people misconstrue this issue so let's talk a little bit about it number one it's important to understand a couple things just because oh my gosh just because um, you know your dog acts this way doesn't actually mean that he or she is jealous in most cases what it actually is is your dog is resource guarding you Okay, and by resource guardian, it's like you're a bone, you're a toy, you're food. Is that the kind of relationship you want to have with your dog? You want your dog to view you as a resource, even if it's a resource for affection, because affection is a resource, right? You 100% you don't want that kind of relationship with your dog. Your dog should view you as a leader, as the person who allocates the resources. So this is achieved by having good fundamental control and compliance with your dog which most people don't have. So most people, their dog loves the hell out of them, but they, the dog has no respect for them. And it's because they don't have any fundamental control of the dog. For me, I have, you know, and people that train in my system, you have complete fun, fundamental control of your dog. You can tell your dog where to be. You can tell your dog what he or she can have and what he or she cannot have. And just this changes the dynamic of the relationship. So the dog learns, I don't allocate resources. I don't decide what you or anybody else or any other dog can have and not have. You know, I, I get what I'm given, right? So if I give you a bone, that's fine. That's your bone. But if I ask you to leave that bone, it's now my bone until again, it becomes your bone. Same with toys, same with affection, same with anything. So a lot of the times with these kind of dogs, I see people really allowing the dog to pick and choose the moment that he or she, um, you know, takes possession of the resource. So it's really important, you know, that you get complete control over that. And usually it starts in the home. And in the home, a big thing that I like to do to control the space, right? Because controlling space is just as important as controlling resources. Because space is actually a resource if you think about it. A lot of what I do is I will send a dog to place a lot. So a dog that does this kind of stuff, they're not actually going to be next to me, especially if they on their own decide that they want to be next to me. I never allow them to do that. I'll send them over to their to the place command. And if you want to see a little bit about the place command, I have videos actually um, in the past that you can scroll down and see whether it's on Instagram or, or YouTube where we talk about the place command and even do a little how-to tutorial on how to teach it. But by having the dog do place in the house, I reduce a lot of these issues just because I'm saying, yeah, you don't get to decide, you know, you don't get to decide when and where, um, you know, what, what, what space you control. I decide the space that you get to have in this house. And just by doing that, I remove a lot of these problems. Then on top of that, affection. Affection is not something I allow my dog to just on his own decide that he wants affection. Affection is something where I decide if you're going to receive affection. So if I have a dog who's really pushy and jealous and he or she comes over to me for affection, then I'll often send that dog away. No, go to your bed or go, go away. Um, I'll call you when I want to see you. And then I'll call the dog over maybe later, give the dog affection and then send the dog away. So usually when you have a dog who's jealous, it's not that they're actually jealous. It is that they don't have the respect and the compliance towards you that he or she should have, and they view you as a resource. So, you know, it's completely, for me, unacceptable that, you know, your dog decides who, um, you know, who person-wise or dog-wise you interact with. That's completely unacceptable, and it's, it's a big failure in your relationship with the dog, and it's probably part of, actually, a lot of other issues that you have. Because I generally find that with behavioral issues, it's not just one, there's... There's usually a whole bunch of issues. It, whenever people tell me, oh, he's just got this one problem, it's usually there's actually a lot of problems. And, and you find that out when you kind of get into to training the dog and you get into to actually getting to know the dog and the owner and the relationship that he or she has. So place command is big. Um, structured walk is big. I talk about structured walks 
in other videos. Um, and maybe I'll do another video on the structured walk later. But it's just really important, guys. You know, your dog does not control access to resources. And affection is a resource. I can't say that enough. Affection and interaction with the handler is a resource. You control that. And you need to start taking control of that if your dog is deciding. The other big thing I want to mention quickly is furniture. Don't let your dog be up on the furniture, especially if they have these behaviors. And don't let your dog freely wander the house. Because I guarantee you that is a big part of the problem. My dogs, especially my large dogs that have any behavioral issues, even small dogs that have these behavioral issues, do not get free access to roam my house. And they do not get free access to the furniture. They're on their place, whatever place I tell them to be on. And, um, you know, if they're loose in the house, I expect, uh, you know, and, and they're loose in the house, I expect them to be, you know, behaving themselves and, and being respectful. If they're not, I send them to their place or even their kennel. So that's just a quick blurb on, you know, a topic that actually is a little bit more complicated, but I just wanted to kind of cover the broad the broad spectrum of what the issue is and, and usually where it comes from. Thanks for watching.